Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. I'm getting an early start today, even though it's Friday and, and I'm not on the road and I could have slept in, but I decided to get up and just get cracking. So my wife had uh, a little necklace issue and it was all knotted up and I could not see it when I was just laying there in bed before she left because I can't see shit that close up. Plus it was dark and all that stuff. So uh, she left and I ended up... Uh, it took me a little while because it was pretty knotted. I had to put it underneath my magnifying uh, contraption with the with the bright light and untangle it and everything. So now I'm taking it to her at the at the library so she can wear it today. In addition to the bracelets that she forgot because she was flustered trying to untangle this necklace. So I'm going to go there and do that. And then I've decided I'm just going to go to breakfast since I'm up and I'm out. And uh, I don't feel like cooking anything because I'm feeling particularly lazy today. All right, I'm at the library. I'm going to drop this stuff off and then we're going to go to breakfast. Okay, that was a delicious breakfast. I'm actually going to head like right around the bend here to that little spot where I film uh, the jet planes and everything because I've noticed that they're taking off towards me where they're always taking off the other direction and then they land over me. I've never been here when they've taken off towards me. So I want to see if I can actually get some footage of them taking off towards me. That'd be pretty cool. So let's go watch some planes take off. of them taking off so it actually worked out really well hell yeah we're gonna go home now package hasn't been delivered yet and she's coming home for lunch at noon and uh, I gotta go cut a cantaloupe so let's head on home hey kids I just got some packages not all of them and I'm kind of surprised that I got what I got today because I wasn't expecting them till next week so I got my new pen which I'm pretty thrilled about because you know how I love my pens. I'll show you that later because I'm not going to pull it out while I'm driving. Eh. But I got my new Shelta hat. I mean, it just looks like a normal, like, what do they call it? A boonie hat or whatever. The difference is, is that this is supposed to have sun protection on it. I don't really care about that either. What I care about is that it has a, like, a plastic visor in it. So it's not supposed to bend. So when I put this damn thing on and I'm out walking in the wooden shed, this will not flop. And that was driving me crazy about some of the other hats that I had when I would try to wear them to go out in the woods or just walking around in general because the brim would flop and all that shit. And this doesn't do that. Let me go in and get all the shit that I forgot and then we'll go back to Pleasure House Point. Well, here we are again. We're at Pleasure House Point now, as you can see. I just love it back here. I know I say it every time, but I really do. Okay, there's the 10 times zoom. This is why I call these the bird trees. So there you can see an egret. I can't quite make it out. It might be a snowy egret on top, and then a great blue heron below that. And then over in there, that looks like possibly another great blue heron. There are birds in the bird trees. And I'm digging it. Those two flew up there because there was another bird up in the tree. Ooh. 
He's hiking that wing up. And by the way, I'm on 10 times zoom. And it just zoomed right in there. I love this camera. I love this phone. All right, let's go for a walk. And here we have a great blue heron. Just majestically standing there doing some crab fishing. If I had a polarized lens, I could show you all the crabs. I mean, look at that thing. Oh, this is a little bitty bitty. That is a yellow crab night turn. Yummy. Good for you, dude. Bad for whatever you just caught. Gulp. I gotta wash it down. Awesome. Glad you guys got to see that. All right. Moving right along. All right, kids. That was awesome. That's been a long time. That might even be the first time this year where there have been you know, like more than your occasional bird up in those bird trees there uh, over way yonder. And I mean, there were probably five or six of them. Like some of them I couldn't get because I didn't have the birding set up, but they were there. And that was awesome. That's the kind of shit that I love to get when I go there. And as I was walking that way, I, you know, a couple stopped me and they were like, oh, yep, there's egrets in the trees. And so I walked the entire way and I wasn't even gonna go all the way down there. And I thought, well, all right, I'll round the bend and see if I can see anything. That's always sort of like my tell if I look down there and I don't see shit. But I looked and I was like, ha, oh, yeah, I could actually see uh, an egret up there. And I mean, shit, by the time I got there, I just watched them flying in. So awesome. That's pretty much it. That's all I've got because I know she she's like going crazy about wanting a burger and fries. So I'm going to have to go and get her a burger and fries. And then I'm going to have to edit this video together. And I got a lot of pictures to look at and a lot of footage to go over. So I'm just going to call this right now, even though it's early. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.